Hello everyone, this is Roy K. In this video, I will show you Firebase AdMob in Flutter. Here is the iOS simulator and Android. The banner and interstitial. Click the button, show full AD. On Android simulator, it works same. So let's see how it works. Please watch this video to set up first. So I have to add Firebase Admo package in the project. Find find the Firebase Admo in pop dot dev and install this package to the project copy and paste and then click package get you have to import this library in the project and setting android and ios environment go to the android and app SLC and main Android manifest. Copy and paste this line between application tag. You have to also go to the Flutter project in iOS and run Xcode. Open info.tab list file and add this row. Copy and paste this key and the value is like this string. This is just the uh, exam string. We will change it later. Back to the Dart file. And I add some code from the library reference. Just copy and paste in the Fruto project in under my home page stage class to init banner and interstitial. Then in the state init, you have to also init AdMob instance. Then make underbar banner AD object using my banner. Then you already in it. It means make a banner in the bottom. And this legit button to show interstitial AD, like full screen AD. I got this code from Admob library right here. Just copy and paste. It show full screen AD. But this code is just testing. So we have to change this, this string to real AdMob string. Go to the AdMob site and I will make just test application. So add app. Uh, I will make just a test. So click no. Make app name. Then create AD. I'll make a banner first. Just type any string right here. Create AD, AD unit. Here is the app ID and unit ID. App ID is just one, but unit ID will change depending on banner or full screen. So copy this string and we have to change it the test ID to real app ID string. So, change this string right here. And you also change the app ID string in Android manifest. Change this string to real string. Go to the iOS project 
and change the string to real string. Okay, back to the dot code. Copy this unit ID and change the test string to real string. This is for banner AD string, so I have to make inter interstitial AD unit. So create AD unit and copy this string and change it. Okay, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.